Welcome to Real Streams Dreams TV. Anti Super Bowl Stream 2024, ladies and gentlemen. As of the recording of this stream, it is Super Bowl 2024. And, uh. I don't like football. So here we are. Where's my fellow could care less about the Super Bowlers? Let's get into it. This is interesting. So. I've been open about this in some of my videos, but I've been doing a lot of um, self-examination the last three years. And uh, the Lord's revealed a lot of things to me about myself that I'm so grateful for that only came through seeking God and sobriety for me. And that's just part of my testimony and my story. But um, at a young age, let's go back to third grade Steve. <clears throat> So like growing up, I wasn't naturally drawn to sports, though I ended up playing soccer for many years of my life. Um, and I do love, I do love playing sports, but I was never drawn to watching sports ever as a kid could care less about football games or any games. Well, um, my uncle he was he's a big sports nut he loves sports he loves watching sports he loved playing basketball in his youth um that's his passion really he loves basketball um but i grew up you know when i was young my dad wasn't in my life um and so my uncle he was around more and he was a sports nut and being around him i just I had to, first of all I had to watch sports around my uncle because he wouldn't not watch sports and there's no way he was going to change it for He-Man dude Masters of the Universe which that's what I was into or like uh, scary movies when I was little I liked scary movies but there's my uncle dude uh, oh no 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 one time my uncle took the remote with him to the store real quick so we couldn't change it he wanted us to w keep watching sports while he wasn't even there anyway i digress then in the third grade i met my stepdad he would become my stepfather he was a professional soccer player and um he loved soccer well i'll never forget in the third grade I like started forcing myself to get into sports I didn't know it at the time but looking back on it it was my way of like bonding with the male father figures that I had in my life so like I literally like forced interest in American football um, and I like started collecting like football cards and I started watching sports well that only got further exacerbated as I got older and went into middle school and high school because all of my closest friends and my peer group, most guys within my friend group loved sports and watched football and basketball and, you know, American sports. So like this false love of watching sports like continued to develop and thrive. Well, it was about three about three years ago when I started like self-evaluating or examining myself that I I like came to the conclusion of like you've never liked watching sports that's just me um, those of you who love watching sports I think that's awesome and I'm not like against it or think it's lame that you like it I, I encourage it I think it's an awesome fun healthy way to like have entertainment you know and I also want people to know I'm not like against like going to a Super Bowl party or a big game or a UFC fight or anything like I would totally go to any of those events like I'm not against it but I'm just not the type of guy who wants to sit around for like two or three hours and watch <clears throat> any game I just don't Um, and I thought since this is being recorded on Super Bowl Sunday, this was a fitting time to tell that story. <clears throat> in 
and the deeper aspect of the story is like I, I was like blown away by the psychology of like what happened to me and the way I developed and how like once I was like I'm done like following sports or caring it felt good because that's who I am again not against sports not at all I think sports are awesome and they're healthy I love playing sports but I just don't enjoy watching sports they're not interesting to me uh, they're not entertaining to me why am I dilly-dallying when the bus is about to leave the deeper aspect of this whole thing is like how many other things have I told myself that aren't true or part of my identity more serious things and and I would ask you viewer anyone watching this to ask yourself that not just about sports anything in life that isn't truly your identity uh, it's just interesting I guess and maybe there's something potentially there in your life that you're like you know what like I don't actually care about this thing that I've been pretending to or trying to and there's a million reasons why we do it in my case it was kind of like again trying to bond with the men in my life um that that was kind of stemming from you know and so again i would just ask you to ask yourself is there anything like that going on with you in your life Real Steve going head to head against Super Bowl 2024 live. Who will win? I wonder if there's going to be a lot of people at the game. Second reason why I don't uh, care to watch the Super Bowl. And I talked about this in one of my last videos, the one called Drake Drake's Drake Leaks Penis. Sorry about that title, guys, but I had to do it. And that's really not, that video isn't really so much like anti-Drake or anything like, I hope Drake's okay, I hope he's doing good, I hope he fall, finds the Lord, I hope he like, you know what I mean, that's my hope for any human on this planet that doesn't have the Lord, but, um, what am I getting at? Like, I'm just, I'm sick of our whole culture. I'm sick of American culture. I'm, I'm sick of American pop culture. Um, I've always been this little like wannabe anti-establishment, anti like anarchy kind of kid growing up. I loved Rage Against the Machine. Um, uh, I loved Nirvana and I loved how Kurt Cobain would like always destroy his instruments after he played played a show like I always was like yeah that's awesome man stick it to the man which uh, I don't even think is like necessarily biblical so I'm not saying that that's good or anything we'd have to talk about that in more in depth but all I'm saying is I've always been that way and you uh... and like so like for example the whole buzz with like Taylor Swift and the guy she's dating it's like this whole Super Bowl starts to take on this dumb poppy crossing crappy genres from popular sports to popular culture music and it's like is this who's in the Super Bowl this year Usher and Taylor Swift dude I don't care about that Watch your old Steve TV.